All right, this is the SNK Prodigy GT27 gang type turning center. It's got the GE Fanuc Series OI Mate TV control. Got the air package, and I guess right away, pretty self-explanatory here. Got the air chuck. We can show the air chuck. We haven't any live tooling up on here yet, but it's the air filters and the regulators for it. Come around, top side, we got the documentation for the machine, programming, maintenance, uh, books in here. And down low, the electric panel, currently running at 208 volts. Got a couple of drives on one servo unit. Processor's weighing back. I don't know if you can see it. This is my temporary cord in the way here. This is my 208 coming in. Yeah. And right up above it is where the bar feed would go in as you come high again. I got the doors open. This door is off, but I got it on the back of the machine, so that's where the bar feed goes right now. Uh, I got the chunk open and it closed. You can just kind of see it open and close. I do it a couple times. That all works. It takes a 5C collar, bar feed, whatever you want to use in there. So that's that. Books on top. You close this up a little bit. As we come around, not much behind the machine here, really. Uh, not much going on back here. around the side. It's the box for the servo motor. This comes down, of course, right now we're not using it because I've got the switches closed just so I can run the machine wide open, but it's got the shock on. This all works really good. So. Okay. And uh, yeah, so I can do some manual movements here with the uh, slide and spindle in manual mode, jog, of course. And uh, at 100, I'll just leave it at 100. It's the fast speed. I'm just moving Z in and out right now. And I can go back and forth here. Oh, can I, can, I, can, I can bring it in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's good. How's that? That's excellent. And this. And I think we can do two-handed rapid here. Do the other way. And the other way. Got to watch it. I don't want to crash it. But. And X, of course. Let me, let me back it up a little bit first. Oh, my God. I can't see it. There we go. And X. Again, rapid with the X. And the other way. And put it back in the middle. So that's just moving the axis right there. Uh, if we go into an automatic mode, it'll go and position itself where it needs to be anyhow. Uh, of course, next would be, I guess, uh, spindle, still in the jog mode. Oh, we can do handle, by the way, too. Uh, as far as that goes, we're calling for X right now. And we're moving on here. And you can kind of see the slide moving too. I'm just dialing it in. And here's Z. That all works nice. That said, like I said, I take it back out of there, stay in jog. We've already yes, referenced the other two are memory and edit, of course. We'll get into memory, auto cycle in a second. Feed rate override, wherever, 100%, 100%. Uh, the spindle, I've got it. I set it at 4,000 RPM and I can dial it up from there. So if I just hit in jog, I can just bring it right up in clockwise motion. See, now you can see we're at 2,400 because we're not at 100%. So I'm going to bring it up to my 4,000 that I programmed it for incrementally just so you can kind of hear it. And that's the one you want to watch right there. We're at 28. 32. There's my 100% or 4,000. Sounds pretty good. I'll keep going up there a little bit more. 44. It's 52. It's good enough. Good enough. Bring it back to me. And you can't hardly see it moving, but it's flying pretty long, flying pretty good. That's clockwise. And for what it's worth, there's counter. 
sounds about the same. Stop it one more time. Go back to clockwise. Good to go. And going into, uh, I said there are a couple programs in here. If I get up into my auto cycle here, what have I got? This 5184 program, which is right here. I could start this right now and kind of watch it. They only take about 30, 40 seconds. So, yeah, if you take it again and you kind of see the actual program, this stuff that people left in there. And so I can leave it on here and start it. Then we can switch over to position. You can watch what's moving. I'll leave this at 100, leave this at 80 for now. I'll leave it at 100. Let the program do whatever it was going to do. In auto cycle, it thinks the door is closed. We should move right along on this. Let's see. You kind of see it moving here. It's walking through the program here. It's kind of like a pecking cycle on there. They're going in a little bit deeper each time. That's a, that looks like a math roll there. Yeah. And if I flip over to position, you can run this again too. It's not that long of a program. In fact, I think it's winding up pretty soon right now. That's it. Cool and shut off. If you're running it, one more time, I can just hit it again. And while it's doing that. It goes in and out about eight, eight or nine times, I think. And if you want to come back on the position, then I can flip that over for you, too. It shows X and Z what they're doing here. The feed. For what it's worth, it's just one other program, just for the sake of bringing it up. I can bring uh, one more in here. This uh, 4240, I think it was. And there it is. And we can run that one. It's a little bit different program. Uh, you kind of watch it. It does a couple things differently, but then they're, they're all not that different from each other. A little bit slower spindle speed, it sounds like they were running. This one's at 2,500. Put a slow feed on there. Square one. I see that again, or are you okay? CX. What's that? C. Oh, the C, yeah. Let's you can give that a shot. Yeah, that was, that was something we were going to try here. Let me get into uh, MDI. Here we go. Glad you reminded me. Uh, it calls for an MO5. I don't think it does because the spindle is stopped, but I'm just going to do it like I think I tried it before and see if it doesn't work. Let's insert an MO5. M21. This is the important one now. M21 converts it to a three-axis machine. Uh, that's all I'm going to do is just give it the M21 after the spindle stop command. And then, I even, even though I've done this, I'm going to try and do it before. I'm going to just get up to C and position it at zero. And if I can find shift, there it is. C, zero, and throw that in there. And the only other one I'm going to try, I don't know if this is going to work, is C180. Same thing again. So I'm going to shift up, C, 180, just to make sure, 0.0, I, I don't know if it needs that. I'm going to throw that in there, end of block. And that all looks right now, if, if this works, in, in MDI, it should go 180 degrees and position itself. So going on the spindle, I'm going to hit cycle start now. And there it goes. You see all that? Cause yeah, I'm, do it again. Well, I have to reprogram that same um, thing. It's not a big deal. If you want, I can try that one more time, sure. I don't even need to hit CO, I don't think. I can just jump right in. I'm just going to try, uh, let me just try just putting it out that I've done that. I should just be able to put C, like 360, and let's see what that'll do. Hang on one second. C.0? Yeah. 
don't know, it might work. And then enter that. Let's see, and cycle start. Let's try again. Let's see what it'll do. Yeah, 360. I went from from my previous 180, I went to 360. Now if you come over here, it should show it now on position. Let's see. Yeah, see I'm at 360. I was at 180, now 360. And it's just, it, it's all uh, absolute. So I could give it 500, it'll go to 500. So, it's great. Yeah, it all works. It works, right. positions nicely, uh, it does the milling, yeah. I just gotta remember to change it back to a two axis machine now, but I'll do that after we're done here. And that's, uh, that's about it, it's a solid machine, yeah. Control works nice.